Hey, welcome to another monthly studio report for Broken Hammer Games and All is Fair and Dust and Air. Uh, this is the March 2022 report for the month of the month of March. I am the founder, CEO, writer, and a whole lot of titles for this company. I do pretty much a lot of the behind the scenes work and in front of the camera right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and plunge right into this for the month of March. It's not going to be a very big report for this month. It's just going to... Uh, we did have some very big things go down, though, for sure. It's the Android port for the Google Play Store. That was... It was big. Uh, month of March, uh, we did a huge amount of testing going back and forth. Um, my gosh, it was like every single day there was a new build that we were trying out, trying to get to work, trying to get to work. We finally got some breakthroughs on that. Um, turns out we had to kind of uh, compress a bunch of the uh, files and the textures and get a whole bunch of that stuff done. So in the end, I mean, it's interesting that PC side, we, we have a, about a two, two gigabyte file size, but on Android, it looks like it's going to be about around a one gig to 1.1 gig. Um, and now that isn't all just compressing images and things like that that we did. There was some other stuff that happened on the back end of that, that it was, we managed to cut down a huge amount of space. Now, whether that's going to translate over to PC side or iOS, um, not 100% sure. We had to do some certain things just for the Google Play Store just to kind of get it to work. So that was the big little issue that we kind of ran into. And uh, I pitched things to Michael back and forth, and he managed to finally get something functional. Um, yeah, ultimately, the, 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 the pad program, what, it, what Google has, is just a pain in the butt to deal with. And because of that, we are going to be probably, I don't know if it's sure it's going to do in April, but soon we're going to be either releasing some videos or maybe some like pointer documents or something to kind of help the rest of the Tyranno community figure out how to get their games released uh, on Android with the pad uh, system that they have now because there's nothing there like we sent in I sent in numerous questions to Tyranno devs and says hey help you guys come on and crickets crickets uh, there's they're not doing anything right now and we don't know why uh, we don't know if there's some internal issues going on with Tyranno's dev team or if there's some miscommunication between the publisher because there's how Tyranno kind of works is it's a Japanese engine but it's been basically ported and published for the Western audiences and so we're using the English version the Japanese version is, is a little bit more ahead of the English version on uh, quite a few areas, but for some reason it's not getting ported across to the Western version. Um, as is with everything in the gaming industry, I mean, in, actually in other industries too, if, if sometimes if there's a publisher that's just kind of gets a little bit out of control and decides they want more and they're whatever, there's internal struggles galore that's possible potential with that's going on with Tyranno, we don't know. Hopefully, I mean, we wish them the best. They've been good to us in the past, even though right now we're very irritated with them. But at least I am, because it's as some of this, some of these issues should have been taken care of when they did the turn 2.0 release. But again, I mean, this one issue with the Google is not something that they could have taken care of back then, because it was a new issue that happened after turn 2.0 came out. So that is the end of that. We're probably going to be looking at getting the Google Play Store version up in the month of April. Uh, when we do put it up, we're going to be bringing down the um, the APK that's on itch for a brief time. Uh, we're going to bring it back, but uh, we have to do some some adjustments on that, and we couldn't quite do it. It was it's like linked to the PC version, and see what we're trying to do is we're trying to get it so that we have the mobile version and the PC version, so that we don't get caught up in having to like obey all the steam like oh you have to price it the same on every platform and stuff and we and see mobile's a little bit different and we're going to be doing some little different things in the future with the, the mobile version so we have to kind of migrate it away so that is kind of where we're at on there um so look at if you want it the apk version go for it now um have a little bit of time i'll to get that before we pull it down. I'm estimating maybe mid-April 
we'll probably pull that down. Um, that's probably when we're going to release the uh, the Google Play Store. We need to do a little bit more testing and kind of their their store system is a mess compared to Steam <laughs> and compared to Itch. Itch is like very easy compared to all of them, like, except for one little area of Itch. But yeah, you know, it's these platforms were not made by people with common sense, unfortunately. <laughs> So that is that on there. That and uh, iOS, we did have a few little possible breakthroughs. Uh, we actually had some more success running it through a browser like export build instead of the iOS macOS build. For some reason, it's like things were starting to click, things were starting to work more. Um, uh, Chris, who we brought in on the project, he's actually helped us a little bit before in the past, but he's been busy for a while now and he came back and was giving some pointers and was looking at the iOS build because he does a lot more app development in iOS and things like that and he figured out some stuff so he I ran actually I actually ran into him in the, the grocery store because he's like a local that I know and he said oh yeah yeah there's some things he wanted to try so uh, he's gonna be testing those and see if he can get something going on the iOS and we're hoping that's gonna be in April uh, we're going to be able to figure out iOS as well. I really want to get onto iOS, uh, get iOS and the Google Store all in in one. Um, we will be having some, some guides coming out on that too because I want to make sure the Tirano community gets the guides for Android and iOS. Uh, especially because, I mean, what I noticed when I was going through Tirano's community and like looking, people were crying out for help and there was other devs kind of like us they were saying oh yeah yeah we'll help you but you only private message and you have to give us access to your app and all sorts of stuff and we'll kind of like do it for you i was like that is dirty that is that is slimy <laughs> I mean, it's like you should not be giving other people access to your application and having them do that it's like i, I, I mean come on come on at least release a guide people even if you charge for it release a guide show people how it's done Come on, be done with it. Don't, don't try to play little tricks like that. That is dirty. That is not right. It's very unethical, and they're taking advantage probably of these devs, that are these small devs that are like, "Hey, we're trying to make a visual novel, and we need help," and taking advantage of them. Um, as far as art development, uh, Georgie is back. Uh, we I talked with him a lot when he got back and from his wedding trip and everything and he w went really well I mean I wish I could share the picture with you that he sent me of him and his wife and it's like he looks like a totally different person and he is just amazing and I just was like really happy for him I, I shared it with uh, Ryan and my wife and we said oh my gosh that is Georgie yeah that's Georgie we're super happy for him. We're very glad. Uh, he has been working on some stuff. Um, it's not stuff we can actually share. So that's unfortunately this month we don't have really much to share on the art end. Uh, project 2. Now here is one thing we do have to share on Project 2 because we did have an, a, a character get into final assets. So she's engine ready. She's all set to go. And this is not in the blog post. This is going to be in this only. So you'll get to see one of our first final engine characters that Ingrid's been working on. Let me just pull it up here and this is a brief little clip of her and yeah uh, she was uh, she's been in she's been in development for quite a while. We had a lot of early sketches of her. I think some of them may have gotten posted a long time ago but this is the first final asset of her how she's come forward and this is going to be probably this is our like first final asset of project two that is ready to go to engine and ready to get built the rest of the way so we got to finish the expressions on her and a few other things left but right now we're just trying to get the final major assets done for project two and that'll be like the initial character pose and things like that uh, it's not going to be as heavy as dust and air uh, we're, we kind of learned our, our lesson from the amount of character models and expressions we did for dust and air which is really huge we we set off to do like really high fidelity and and make everything like really awesome and they were like okay this is taking a long time to build so we learned a lesson on that project two is going to be a lot a little bit faster uh to get out um we are actually looking on, I'm actually looking on some uh, art uh, recruitment things to see if we can get us another background artist that can be dedicated to Project 2 that is just one of the little 
odd jobs that we're kind of trying to fill and that also might actually work into Dustin here because we do have some background images that we need to get done and Khan has been busy uh, probably the last few few months with his own little uh, work and things on the side and he's been swamped so it's like you gotta we all gotta eat we all gotta do what we have to do at the end of the day uh, so as far as what we're gonna be doing in April especially I mean as I said uh, looking for the Play Store stuff to drop. Hopefully iOS is going to drop to get those issues ironed out. Um, hopefully we get some better, maybe some other art assets that we can better reveal. Because <laughs> I'd like to show them. I do like to keep people appraised that, yeah, we are working, we are doing stuff, we are building stuff, but we can't reveal everything yet, of course, because things reveal too much of the story or how that all plays in. So, uh, other than that, uh, that is it for the month of March. Uh, thanks for joining me today or tonight, wherever you are. I appreciate your support going forward. Um, good news, we will be having a sale. Uh, early April, start of April, it's going to be the Sakura Blossom sale. We're just going to do like a special event for the Japanese Sakura Blossom season that's going on. So, expect a little sale for at least a week in the first start of April. Uh, if you're interested in Dust and Air, you want to try us out, check that sale. It'll be on Itch and Steam. Uh, it'll be first part of April, and then we'll see after that. I know the next big sales are going to be Steam Summer Sale, and I think there might be one more in between. But the, at least the official one, Summer Sale, is coming later, and that will be uh, once we... <laughs> uh, once we see how things are going on these uh, ports and patches and stuff, yeah, it'll be... Talking about sales and other things to come. So, anyways, thanks again for joining. See you in the skies. Jenny.